Hi, I'm Bob Batcher, Executive Director of Prime Plus Senior Centers, and this is Prime Time with Bob. I always make a point of having a friend so we can have a good, casual, open conversation. So, Allie, how you doing? Yay. Hi, Bob. I'm doing well. Thanks now, for having me on again. Now, people who have watched this, this show, uh, you've been at mysterious places. You took me to Rome, to the Sistine Chapel, and then under a tent. And not for Arabian nights, but for Norfolk nights. It's it's true. And actually, that, that tent was just outside this window here to my left. So Yeah, because where are you? So I'm, I know, I, I tried to rack my brain on a creative place for me to take you today. And I just <laughs> wasn't, I was having one of those, where should I take him? So I'm in my office. I'm in my lovely office here at the Virginia Arts Festival. Oh, I was going to say, and you have a headless a statue. Portrait. Yeah, what, what is that picture of? And beautiful portrait behind me of a ballerina. But, you know, like I said, that's where the, that's where I was last time, the Bank Street stage, just outside. Not there anymore, of course, but, um, but that but was it's fun. Coming, but it's coming back. Oh, yes. Oh, so excited. Hopefully we'll have more to share on that for next now, year. I, I think it's appropriate you have a ballerina because I think the first time I met you, I'm not even gonna say how old you were. Okay, thanks. But you were on toe. I yeah, I you know I you have a hurrah background. I have a hurrah players background. I grew up dancing here in Virginia Beach, um, and now I teach. So everything kind of comes full circle. And here at the Arts Festival, I'm so lucky that we're able to present some of these professional dance companies now. So yeah. I've really just kind of encompassed put sort of my passion into um, my career now too. Okay, now I've got, because you've got a dad that's going to be watching this, I've got to mention it because I think you've been replaced <laughs> in your dad's life and you can explain that. I know. People had COVID and then you decide to make your dad a grandpa. It's true. My dad, you know, he's a retired reporter, Joe Flanagan, which I think he misses being on air and talking to people like you every day, Bob. But um, oh. he has been upgraded this past year to grandpa. We don't know what he's going to be called yet, but I had my little boy back in May. Um, named Brody. So my dad is quite smitten as well as my mom, but um, so the grandparents are watching him uh, now that I've come back to work. We're going to eventually talk about, you know, Virginia Arts Festival, but I gotta say your dad was a, he was more than a reporter. He was a producer. I remember, I remember doing a mini Azalea Fest parade at 530 in the morning with him. So he's a, he's known as a major producer. Is he trying to produce Brody's life already? He, you should see, if you were to scroll through his phone, he creates little documentaries about Brody every time he's with him. <laughs> so this kid's going to have a full, yeah, he's going to have a full documentary by the time he's two, I feel like. He'll have every day of his life documented. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out a segue from your dad to a chihuahua. Oh, God. So I'll, I, just, I'll make the plunge. I got into work today and I see, okay, you guys are planning not just the holidays but way into next year so let's start with a couple of weeks from now i came in this morning and there's i got this email press release that the arts festival is looking for a chihuahua it's you know at, we do everything here at the arts festival bob you should know that by now um yes you're right so i came back from maternity leave and so excited to be working again on live <laughs> events um, the Arts Festival is partnering a kind of in collaboration with Norfolk State University's theater Here, company. I, I have, we've spent There's all this money on technology. There's my visual. <laughs> Lady Day at Emerson's Bar and Grill. Um, this is going to take place the last weekend in October at the Attic Theater. Not and at the Bar and Grill. Not at the Bar and Grill. That's the title of the show. So don't get confused. Oh, that's the title, the full title, but it'll take place at the Attic Theater. Um, and this is the show that Audra McDonald originated on Broadway back a few years ago now, but um, it's all about Billie Holiday's life and music. And it was one of the last live performances that, that she did before she passed away. Wait a minute, so, so she, her, I thought this would be the beginning of her career performing in a bar and grill. This is the end where she, you sort of, throughout the course of the show, sort of see her start to unravel. Um, but the performer who's portraying Billie Holiday is this brilliant, brilliant singer um, from Atlanta named Ashley Bishop Diggs. And so she'll be portraying Billie Holiday, but she needs a dog. So Billie Holiday had this, this tiny chihuahua named Pepe. And so for a portion of the show, we're looking for a local dog to become a celebrity <laughs> for the weekend um, in our Lady Day at Emerson's Bar and Grill. So 
the email that you saw this morning, we're holding dog auditions this Saturday, October the 9th um, at 10 a.m. at the Attic Theater, of course. Um, so you bring your dog. We're, we're saying on there, preferably chihuahuas, but really small breeds that are kind, kind of docile, um, but they'll come in the Wait a minute. Wait, I've never seen a chihuahua that was docile. <laughs> I'm, I'm curious to see how, how many um, calm, co cool, and collected chihuahuas we get at this audition, but they'll interact with Ashley. She's excited and um, they'll get to kind of be on stage with the lights on them for a little bit. And we'll see, we'll see who makes the cut and who we'll hire to be our, our next dog star as part of this performance. It should be yeah. fun. I know you've worked with riders before on some of these big celebs. So what kind of rider are you expecting for a Chihuahua? I know you and I were talking about that. I'm sure there'll be endless um, treats available backstage and water, sparkling or still water, uh, <laughs> lots of dog toys on hand. So it'll be kind of a fun, a fun way to incorporate the local community here to get some, some animal celebrities. In the now I'm going to, this, well, this one rings to you. So Mary Kate and Ashley, we're twins that played one person. So are you looking for twin chihuahuas? You know, I think that they are looking potentially to hire two, but definitely one. If we find the the best of the best of the best, um, they have said that we might we might hire more than one. If we'll, really we'll see what kind of participation we get. But I guess, okay, so if your dog gets rejected, still buy a ticket because it's going to be an yeah. awesome show. Yeah. And I love the so, attics because it's, so it's so intimate. Well, there's so much history there. Um, actually, you know, you think about Billie Holiday, performed at the Attics once. I mean, of course, the Attics is oh, wow, that's 100 right. years old at this point now, but um, it'll be really, really cool to think about the fact that she had once performed on that stage. And now uh, this performer, Ashley, you know, will get to kind of bring her to life again with the Attics. Hey, you know who else performed at that stage? I saw her, Audra McDonald. Audra, exactly. You guys brought her here. Yep, yep. That was before I, I came to the festival, but I'm exactly it's, it's the perfect space to hear a jazz performance i think because it's just intimate enough um to where you really get to sort of hear the breaths and see the sweat and kind of really connect with the performer on stage cool and i can't so wait to see the dates one last time they're october 29th through the 31st for the actual performance but the dog auditions are october 9th this upcoming saturday yeah. and there she is the beautiful and talented ashley so org is our website, but I know you always do a good job of getting our website out there for us. Okay, um, let me do this now. <laughs> From, oh, yeah. I really, I really appreciate the visual. <laughs> the visual. Like so we of course always bring holiday display. performances and the one that, that Bob you're holding, um, we're calling it our holiday spectacular this year. So we always try to do something fun like this and, and our festival friend, longtime friend, Broadway um, conductor, arranger, gosh, musical extraordinaire, um, Rob Fisher, who's actually from the area. He is going to come and be the music director for this. So he's bringing with him two sisters. Um, now you'll know who they are, but you might not recognize their names. Their names are Nadia and Christine DiGilinardo. Did I do you think I I'm glad you said it. DiGilinardo. And the, the two of them, they usually perform together with their third sister, but they're not bringing the third sister. It's just Nadia and Christine um, with a couple of musicians from the symphony that are coming. We're calling them the Festival Five. So this will be um, music, gosh, music from the American Songbook, um, some Broadway, some Holiday. You're gonna hear a little bit of everything from this, but Nadia and Christine. So Nadia um, is the music director for Broadway's Waitress, if you're familiar with Waitress the Musical. Mm -hmm. She, that's sort of her claim to fame. And Christine, she's worked on, on Broadway as well in Candide and Guys and Dolls. So they both have a Broadway background. So they're perfect fit to come and work with Rob Fisher. They all three used to work together, Rob and the two ladies on Prairie Home Companion. So Rob was, oh. was music director there for a number of years. And so he would feature them on their, um, you know, of course the former public radio show, um, often. So they sort of, they've built a rapport doing that show together. So we're happy they're going to come and perform at the Sandler Center um, on December the 4th. It's a Saturday and we're calling it Tis again, the Season Swing. And they, again, the Sandler Center has just become one of the jewels of the region. It's an awesome. We're really place. lucky to have the Sandler Center here. You and I talked about this a little bit before we started, but I, the acoustics are incredible. The production team there is phenomenal. So shout out to the Sandler Center. Really, we, 
we love working with them. And um, I think this will be the perfect venue for, for this show as well. I feel like I keep saying that, but Rob Cross here in the Arts Festival does a good job picking the right venue for the right show. So I got to ask you, whose decision was it to leave the third sister out? I know. I said the same That's thing. cool. She must, they, maybe they, hey, maybe they're like, I I need a break from my, every now and then you need a break. Yeah, we need to get something going. <laughs> That'll be the talk. That Google it. There's got to be something in Google. Now, but let's talk about our own Rob Fisher, because I think sometimes we think of him as our own. He's the local kid. But God, he's got credentials galore. Oh, man. He is, uh, gosh, he's Broadway's own. I mean, at this point now, Broadway really claims him. He, We work with him at least once every year, sometimes more than once. But he's our connection to Broadway, really. He's the one that has uh, brought Kristen Chenoweth. He's brought... Renee Fleming, uh, if you remember when we had Brooke Shields, mm -hmm. he built all these relationships with these mega stars and then um, brings them to the Virginia Arts Festival. So once again, we're just super lucky that here in you know this coastal Virginia region, we're able to connect with stars like this, that you really, I mean, you wouldn't think that they would come, want to come to us, but the Arts Festival makes it happen, thanks to partners like Rob. Okay, um, I'm going to give you a little trivia. Oh, it's she's a little bit country. He's a little rock and roll. New, you know, 61 years old. Okay. <laughs> Exercise and diet. Mm -hmm. Thanks to Nutra System. Nutra, not, Nutra not, system. Not, I like your allowed, segment. Are we allowed to say that? I, yeah, we have that's, that's written in her, in and, her bio. And she's oh, a little rug rat sister. So who am I talking about? Dun, da, da, da. Marie Osmond. I know we're so excited about this. I, I personally, I mean, my parents have, have been a fan of, of <laughs> for years. You're talking to our their, audience. I know their music probably more than most, but, um, but she, this is interesting though. She's going out on a tour and she's calling the tour a symphonic Christmas. So Marie Osmond is going to perform with the Virginia Symphony, which is really exciting. Oh, cool. Yeah, and she, I, I'm not used to seeing her in a symphony setting. So I think it's going to be unique for people that have seen her before. She's got some mega fans out there, but this will be a different concept for her. And she's going to feature her, uh, one of her, one of her many family members, but her nephew, Daniel, um, Daniel Osmond, no, David Osmond, I'm sorry, David Osmond, and then Daniel Emmett. Yeah, who the heck is Daniel Emmett? So he just won America's Got Talent. So they all have killer voices. It's vocal. If you're a if you're a fan of of vocalists, this is the show. And you know, Marie is just she's so it just puts you in a good mood. You know, when you see her perform, you just feel yeah. happy. Well, she's kind of the girl next door. Or you, I guess, you wish you had her next door. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she's I I just I love what she's about. You know, she's she spreads the joy. So that's what, I think that's what we all could use a little bit more of. But right? you know, but, you have a theme going here, siblings being thrown off the stage. <laughs> so she's got a, another a brother. Don, yeah, Donnie. Where, where, where's he gonna, where's he gonna be? Where's he gonna be on December 13th? Well, they just wrapped their big Vegas residency, right? Within the last year. So I have a feeling that they were like, all right, similar to what we were talking about. I need a break. <laughs> yeah, let's go with that. Yeah. She um, heard right here on Primetime with Bob. Did you just say they broke up? She she is going to be here at Chrysler Hall on December the 13th. <laughs> so we're super excited. And Donnie will be, I don't know, in Aspen. I, somewhere. Who knows? That's, you got to admit, that's the number one question, isn't it? I know. I waited. I fully anticipate getting that question a million times before December 13th, but... <laughs> She's she's a star and she's I know it. I'm 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 actually looking forward to yeah to seeing her perform. It'll she's be cool. fun to kind of really drive our, our holiday season here. We're, we're gonna talk a little more about holidays later on because I think you got some other things up your sleeve. Here and there, yes. Yeah. I, I mean, I okay, you send me emails um and you're actually selling shows into 22. We are, you know, 2022 is going to be the Virginia Arts Festival's 25th season. Oh. So it's a big one for us. So we're sort of where we historically have done a big fall winter announcement for the spring season with the way the world is, we're doing these rolling announcements. So we'll announce some, some things here and there. And then later down the road, when we have some more confirmed, we'll announce a couple more, but one of the ones well, we announced- There you are standing there loving me, which was your favorite song? 
Oh, well, sound of music. Okay, sound of music. I sing my favorite things to my new little baby every night. That's his going to. That's right. You have a new baby. I have a new baby, and so I'm happy to have the sound of music because I I'm very familiar with the soundtrack currently. (laughs) (laughs) Sound of music is going to be interesting. It's not what we previously were going to bring in the 2020 season that got, of course, postponed and um, all those things that happened. Then with that season, um, we were going to have a sing-along sound of music, but this is different. This we're working with um, the Virginia Opera and the Virginia Symphony, once again, to present the sound of music as, as an opera. And um, this will be really a really unique experience for everybody involved, because obviously, you know, us working with the opera will be very, very cool. But there is a famous opera director right now that's getting a lot of great attention and great press name, um, Mary Birnbaum. And so she she signed on to come and be our director and do casting and kind of make this as big as big and as broad as it can be. But um, it's all the music from the sound of music that you love. It'll just be sort of a different take on it as an opera, which I think will be really exciting. My timer just went off. No. Yes. Tattoo. We tattoo is on sale. So tattoo 2022. We're coming back to Scope Arena. Last year we were at ODU, and April 28th. To May second, tickets are already available. I'll come back and tell you more about the test. Yeah, later. so they're encouraging people to buy holiday presents early. So go out there and get a whole package of tickets and give them to your loved one, and bring yeah. your Chihuahua to dog auditions on this Saturday, October the 9th. But when you buy a ticket, you know we have a whole uh, disclaimer now: purchase with confidence. You know that the arts festival is going to work with you. If if the world goes haywire, which we hope and pray it doesn't again um just know that the virginia arts festival it, you know we we're here to accommodate awesome ali thank you thanks for having me as always this has been fun so we've got two sibling breakups all kinds of news that came out of this so Not share happy. this with your friend and buy tickets <laughs> <laughs> thank you for a great conversation thanks a lot okay stay safe and stay connected thanks a lot see you next time